Okay, hello everybody, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I already know how this is gonna go. Don't mind my hair, okay? I already know how this is gonna go, all right? I know how it's gonna go. I know there's gonna be a lot of shit. I know there is going to be a lot of he's backpedaling, he lied, this and that. I, I know how it's gonna go. And I stand by everything that I said in my video yesterday, which was, if he, you know, we're going to come in and expose the shit out of James, is it worth it? In the end, I know everyone's sick and tired about hearing about James's age, but he's freaking 19, okay? And to air out somebody's dirty laundry, you better hope that it's worth it. And to be honest... You know, it's the, it's the mama bear in me, it's the person in me, it's the person in me that always tries to see the good in no matter what you do. I always try to see the good in everybody. I, I do. It's like, it's like one of my flaws. But no, seriously, because everybody has good in them. Everybody has a little bit, you know. But I'm proud, <clears throat> to be perfectly honest. I'm 100% proud that Jeffree Star took the high road. That Jeffree Star was the bigger person and decide to say, I'm not doing it. Now, there is going to be a lot of shit flying. I already know it. I already know that people are gonna be calling, you know, saying Jeffree Star's a liar, he lied, now he's backpedaling. Oh, I know how it's gonna go. I know how it's gonna go. And you know what? However you feel about it is absolutely fine. You are entitled to your own opinion. And I put out a tweet earlier, cause I seen um, Allie tweeted, you know, that you know, I think Kevin James Bennett had tweeted, you know, that James Charles, you know, poked the beehive. And um, I replied, you know, because that was that was the best way to put it, because it is Jeffree Star and, you know, he can be Jeffrey, you know. And then I seen Allie tweet, you know, basically, yeah, there's no buzz. It's all buzz and no sting because and I posted too, you know, like we're waiting for these receipts, because if you're going to accuse somebody of what you accuse them of, there better be proof. It's a huge, huge allegation. Extremely huge. And you better come with proof. And to be honest, whether there is real proof or not, there may be, there may not be, we'll never know. But to be honest, we do know because Jeffrey said there were people in his head. There were people telling him things that... He didn't know if they were facts or not. So I think this whole debacle, this whole thing went way too far. And it really could have done so much damage to so many people. For what? For what? For nothing, you know? And who knows the real reason, the real, real reason why it started? Who knows? But to be honest, I'm glad that it's kind of like over, to be perfectly honest, because I don't want to see, you know, anybody struggling with their life like this. I could not imagine being in James Charles' shoes, no matter how you feel about him. I don't care. I don't care how you feel about him, you know, whether he's entitled, he's, he's too narcissistic and whatever. I don't care how you feel about him. That is completely irrelevant. If you have to fight the internet of saying something that is ex a huge explosive allegation, that can that can ruin somebody's life. It can it can it can pry it, it can tear out your heart. It can tear at your soul. It can tear at your you know your mental health. It does you know, and you know loneliness is the key to insanity. Sometimes people say you know. If you put somebody in solitary confinement for their whole entire life, you know, that could, you know. But I don't know what started it, but I seen a lot of lives. I seen a lot of tears and I seen a lot of lives almost destroyed over this. And again, I know what's going to happen, but I personally am proud of Jeffrey for taking the high road and being the bigger man. I'm, I'm proud of him for that. And if I get flack for it, I'm okay with it. Because I am who I am and my heart is what my heart is. And I will say 
congratulations for doing the right thing. I am so happy that he did the right thing because what were you going to do? You're going to sit there and you're going to air out some text messages and dirty laundry and all this stuff. And where is that supposed to get you? What are you gaining by doing this? You know, that's, you know, what would he have gained, guys? I, I just want to know, what would he have gained if he would have, if, if it would have been in reverse and he came with all these receipts and whatever, what then more would have happened? What could have happened to James? What headspace would James Charles have been in? What could have like really happened to him, you know, because I'm sorry, gay men struggle. They do, you know, they, they struggle big time. You know, I'm glad that society has worked on so much of acceptance, but it isn't 100% there, guys. It's not. And if you get a young, you know, gay male accused of what he was doing or what he was accused of doing, that's tough. You know, that is. So, I mean, for everyone that's going to be upset with Jeffrey right now, that's going to say, oh, you backpedaled, you didn't drop the receipts, you promised us receipts or whatever. What? What then? I want you to answer me, what then? What then? What What would he have gained? What would you have gained? What have you? What would you personally have gained by really knowing somebody's dirty ass laundry? There's no reason for it. There's not. People have the right to privacy. People have the right to, you know, know somebody without their business being spread all over the place. Just because somebody's rich and famous doesn't make them less of a person or less of a right to be entitled to privacy. Because what goes on in your home stays in your home. What goes on in your circle stays in your circle. You wouldn't want anybody stepping outside of your circle and what happened, what's been going on, you would not want that to be you, period. You would not want that to be you. And a lot of people struggle, you know, a lot of people get hated on for any damn reason. And so sometimes people look at, you know, hate and they'll look for something more to hate them for, just for shits and giggles per se. But I will stand by my video that I made yesterday to say, you know, I'm glad, I'm so glad he thought it through. I'm so glad he took that breath to say, should I really do this? Is it really worth it? Because in the end, it really wouldn't have been worth it at all. It wouldn't have been worth it at all. You, you, the community would have been so broken. Things could have happened. God only knows what would have happened. You know, God only knows what would have happened with James. You know, because again, he is a human being whether he's a little narcissistic or he's egotistical or whatever you want to put him entitled, spoiled, egotistical, narcissistic, whatever you want to do. In the end, he's a 19 year old human being, a young adult. He's not a kid. He's not a full grown man, but he's a young adult that has a lot of shit to learn. But I try to take the glasses off so they don't glare. But again, I am so proud and I will always be proud. And please let me know your comments below. And I know, I, oh my gosh, I can totally see it. The internet's going to go, because Jeffrey didn't buy the receipts. Yeah, he was lying the whole time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Personally, I think the man thought it through and did the right thing. And I give him props. I do. I give him props. Right now, I hope every one of them between Tati, James, and Jeffrey can take that breath can take a time, take that note to heal. And they do need to get together and have a conversation or they need to get together and hug it out. They, they, need, they need to close this chapter in their life and put it behind them. That's what they need. Right now, all three of them need closure. They do. But the most two important ones that need the closure is Tati and James. Because them are the two this started with, is them two. So the two that really need the closure is Tati and James. And I hope that they can get together and they can put this behind them and find closure and heal and move on. Will their friendship ever be the way it was again? I don't know. Maybe so, you never know. I mean, it's, anything's possible, you know, but I hope they find some closure. I hope they can heal from this and I hope 
nobody has to go through something like this again. Because to be honest, this almost reminded me of what Cookin did to Peter Mott, in a sense, you know, but in reverse, because people actually believed it. So that's what makes it really tough if we want to really do some comparisons. So Jeffrey will never see this, but I'm proud of him. I really am. I'm very proud. And I hope you guys can maybe share my opinion or at least give my opinion a little bit of thought and just ride the train with me just a little bit and just, just try a little bit. And I love you all so much. And I thank you for watching my videos. Kisses as always. And thank you.